In early February 2024, the Pahiatua Railcar Society ran an excursion to New Plymouth with standard railcar RM31, a most appropriate choice since this class used to be regulars on the Tadranaki line with their Wellington to New Plymouth service. While she was in New Plymouth, the railcar ran shuttle trips down to Inglewood for the locals and visitors from out of town. On Saturday, February 3, I climbed aboard RM31 for her 10.45 departure out of New Plymouth, and this trip reminded me of the time I rode along the same section in April 2007. RM31 is a far cry from the consist on those 2007 excursions, which was actually DX's 5022 and 5074 running in a top and tail formation with the first Capital Connection coaches. RM31 was built in 1938, as one of only six standard railcars that were ever built. The class remained in service right up until 1972, before the line through central New Plymouth was heavily rationalised, and four of them have survived into preservation, but RM31 is the only mainline certified member of the class. The current railway alignment through New Plymouth opened in 1907, replacing the original which had a level crossing over Devon Street, although absolutely nothing is left of that level crossing. Somehow, I didn't realise this until I went back to New Plymouth in 2024, but the long section from Queen's Road to the Windwand is actually grade separated. Between the Windwand and the port, there are seven public level crossings. On the Saturday morning, I went for a walk down to Tehu Nui Stream in Fitzroy, as there's a railway bridge at this location. The scene of something going across the bridge would be more impressive if there was a DSG going to the port with a short freight train, but alas, Kiwi Rail haven't run the S63 port shunt in over a year, and they never ran it on weekends anyway. It's a pleasant walk from Devon Street down to this bridge. After going along Watson Street and down the hill, the public footpath runs in between a croquet club on one side and a bowling club on the other. Then you go across a small bridge to get over the stream, and the path follows said stream right up to the beach. What was once a decently sized station yard is now just a single, and rarely, if ever, used track running through to the port. That tall thing in the background is the Wind Wand, a kinetic sculpture, whatever that means, designed by Kiwi artist Len Lai and installed in 1999. The weather was changing quite frequently throughout the day, and it resulted in this bizarre scene in the sky at 10.14am. RM31 arrived back from Inglewood with 13 minutes to spare before her next run. Passengers were exchanged reasonably quickly, and there were a good number of punters on board for the second run, to the point where the railcar was nearly full. On the eastern edge of New Plymouth, we pass Kiwi Rail's Smart Road Yard. These days, they only run one train in each direction over the full Taranaki line, and only on weekdays but they keep a DSG shunter locomotive at Smart Road to handle the wagons during the layover between train 526's arrival and the departure of train 521, which is the return working of 526. Even as recently as 2016, the service to New Plymouth was still frequent enough to have four locomotives parked at Smart Road throughout the middle of the day. Yeah. 
Due to unspecified operational reasons, RM31 continued past Inglewood Station and stopped just south of the town, whereas I initially thought she was just going to stop in the station platform. Once south of the town, the driver changed ends for the return trip, and passengers got to flip the seats round, like they do on the vintage trams, and swap sides if they wanted to. Unfortunately, some of the seats are very poorly aligned with the windows. Meanwhile, one of my old school friends was down in the South Island, and happened to be in the right place at the right time. 
She caught DXB's 5120 and 5166, leading a fellow DX and an unidentified DFB on train 736 from Christchurch to Picton. After going for the ride aboard RM31, I went down to the Tadaranaki Pioneer Village near Stratford and saw the rail car again in Inglewood on the way back to New Plymouth. After finishing her shuttles for the day, RM31 ran empty back to Smart Road, before running the Inglewood shuttles again on Sunday, and returning to Pahia Tua on Monday the 5th. We end this video with a shot of the railcar crossing Queen's Road, just on the eastern side of the Waifakaiho River.